geography. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. So welcome back to Thames Path Adventure, Charlesy to Oxford today. This is really, real rowing country. And this is the Oxford Brooks University Rowing Club. Approaching Walling, Wallingford now. Wallingford's probably one of the nicer towns on the Thames to stop off at, quite close to the river. Here we are at Benson Lock. Between Wallingford and Dorchester, the river's really wide and very, very high, all the rain we had last week. Beautiful meadow here. Look at this, just a field is huge, all being left just for wildflowers. So we're now at Day's Lock. Making good progress. Very, very warm now. I think that was the Queen, wasn't it? Right. Absolutely beautiful day today. Look at this. Must be 20, over 20 degrees. Beautiful sunshine, look at this meadow, look at these buttercups. Absolutely idyllic by the river. Look at the places you see on this walk. It's a lovely stretch, a lot of open meadow on this stretch. In fact, it's mainly open meadow like this. It's a nice new summer house on the river. Um, we're going to be arriving probably in the next hour. We're trying to get to Cullum, so then it'll be about that'll be 14 miles so I'm gonna call it a day there I think at 14 miles and pick it up next time this is Cullum Bridge now I'm gonna make it with five minutes to spare can you believe it at Cullum one train every hour get back to civilization so again part of the walk done 14 miles more down the Thames path Huh? Yep. We're walking on the Thames path from Cullum, just at Cullum Bridge, and Mike's with me too, and we're walking to Oxford. So this is an exciting leg where we're going to walk 12 miles, and then we're going to walk around Oxford and show the sights of Oxford. That would leave only around 50 miles to go once this part is completed. So thanks for joining. The time of year when all the, I don't know what they are. Are they um, They're dragonflies? Dragonflies. Dragonflies are out. And, and, yeah, dragonflies. Here you go. Here's a dragonfly. They look like tiny tiny bats they're so small but so black here we am chasing a dragonfly and he's coming along on the journey look there he goes So I don't know how long dragonflies live for. I remember reading once that some dragonflies only live for one day. So they have to make the most of it. Imagine if every day we, we had that thinking that we only have one day. How would we live our life differently? We'd definitely make the most of it and we'd definitely go outdoors a bit more, wouldn't we? So this section of the footpath is very quiet. This is a Saturday. Obviously it's midsummer now. We've seen, well, I don't think we've seen anyone. Maybe one person, I think. Hello. 
know. Some, some real backpackers. <laughs> See the footpath here isn't walk that much. So believe it or not, we've gone probably over a mile, maybe a bit more, in the wrong direction. Now how is that possible on the river walk? Uh, now, now we seem to be on, a, on a S, one of the estuaries, but uh, it could be a canal. Really? Yeah. So we're not even on the Thames? Well, we will be shortly uh, joining the Thames. Okay. So we've been back to Clifton Lock and the lock keeper assures us that we were going in the right direction towards Abingdon and towards Oxford so I don't know what happened to our the OS app there it's obviously not my fault or Mike's I thought there was a minimum sort of limit you could uh, maximum yeah speed. he's speeding you're only supposed to go four miles an hour look at the bank on that yeah, yeah I know I know I know I just caught him on the camera Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's... He's just, it, it causes erosion, you see. And also for the wildlife. Yeah, I know. He just thought he's going to open it up to impress his mates. And I think this is where we're going to stop for lunch. Those benches have our names on them. At Cullum Lock, and bearing in mind we started at Cullum Station. And now it's one o'clock. That was ten o'clock when we started. We did a huge loop. The river meanders around, and also we went back on the, ourselves to get to where we left the river last time. There you go. Thank you very much. Just in time. That looks like Radley, uh, uh, you know what, so there's a thing called Radley College. Yeah, this is Radley College. Beautiful day. It must be 22 degrees, 23 degrees out here at least. So it's hard work here in the sun, overhead, but we're making good progress. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, nice, lovely. You gonna take it? Yeah, totally. Oh. Nice outlook onto the river. That's one of the nicest properties we've seen in the whole Thames Path. There's some more Georgian mansions on the hill there. It's a lovely part of the country. to Oxford That's it, 
Oxford. We made it to Oxford. Only 50 miles to go. It's the blue shop. So Christ Church is here. It's just beautiful actually. We can have a walk through there maybe. And then the other side. To show you what the, the flowers look like this time of year in Oxford. Probably never look better than today actually, do they? Oxford Cathedral in the background. And I think that's Christ College. Christ College Oxford. It's a pretty amazing building, isn't it? Look at that. Christ Church Cathedral Services. Oh, cool drink. Yeah, cool drink. I think we deserve it. 